Hi, my name is Darlene. I'm 13 years old. I'm fuck. No. Hi, my name is Darlene. I am 13 years old and I am from the Dominican Republic. My question is, what do you have to do to become a police officer in the United States? Bye. Times, yes. One, two, two three. three. Uh, what? What? Oh, oh, oh. Hold oh, on, baby. Hola. 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 Oh, did it? Oh, I'm not doing that part. What do you think of it? What do you think of it? I don't know how to do it. It's like, look. look. I'll watch y'all. No, you're doing it now. You laugh. Yeah, I do laugh. I can't see myself. Yeah. What is that? You know, like, oh. Watch out, D. Guys, what is that? Oh, 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 Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dominican route. Y'all can see I'm just laying in bed because my back is hurting a little bit. But that was Eleni. Yeah, I left the cursing in there because in the Dominican Republic, they do so many different things than we do uh, compared to a teenage American. Uh, they curse in front of their mom. Some of them do, not all of them, but they curse, in, they curse a lot. Uh, they smoke at 15, 16, 17 years old. Uh, you can buy alcohol here and you really, I mean, if a police see you, you might get in trouble, but you can buy alcohol here. A teenager can buy alcohol. My son, he's, he doesn't, he said he'll never drink, but he'll, he'll go get a beer for me or something like that. And uh, they don't have any problem. I give him the money, he go get the beer and he comes back or whatever. But I, I would never do that with a, uh, a child that's not mine. You know, it's so different. These kids, they, they love what I'm doing and they really appreciate me, but you can see the difference. Like, I'll give you another example. Uh, I'm not going to say the girl's name, but she's 15 and she's a part of the Dominican route, you know, English program. And she's dating a 22 year old man. Wow. You know, and the mom doesn't mind and the dad and grandfather doesn't mind. I'm not going to say her name, but she's a part of the group. And he comes and, you know, and he, he's, he holds her in the hand and they kiss each other in public and they're walking down the street. I see him walking down the street. So she's 15 and he's 22. He has a baby by another girl. I think the girl is 17 years old. But uh, yeah, he is dating a 15 year old girl. And that happens a lot in the Dominican Republic. So I'm not their parents. My job is to uh, just try to help them out to have a better life and to just 
improve their skills, improve their selves in English, um, you know, becoming a better person in life, telling them the mistakes that I made so they don't run into the same mistakes. You know, I tell my, my boys and my daughter the same thing. So I give them the same knowledge, but it's not my call on if they're dating a 22 year old or if they, they curse all the time, you know, I, or they smoke. We have one kid in the group. He's a smoker. <laughs> and I, I just tell him, you can't smoke in here. You cannot smoke, uh, you know, in the, in the building, in our office downstairs. So, hey, you know, who am I? You know, his mom knows that he smokes. He's 16 years old and he smokes. So I, I can't make that call. I, I, all I can do is just, like I said, just help the kids out and they really love the program so it is totally different a teenage especially a teenage girl a teenage girl is so more advanced uh and i don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing but a teenage girl is so more advanced than a teenage girl in uh in the united states uh teenage girls are advanced period men develop mentally and physically later than uh, a, a, a girl, a teenage girl. So uh, I don't know, but it's just, you can see how fast. And I guess it's because it's, uh, it's a third world country where they may have to, uh, these girls may have to try to learn faster and they're exposed to more and the rules and the laws are different in the Dominican Republic. So uh, I'm not judging them. I'm just saying that it's different. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, they, they they curse more. The teenage girls and boys, they, uh, they date 22, 23, 24-year-old men and they're 15, 16, 17 years old. Some people think that's nasty. I don't know. If the parents, the, the parents don't have a problem with it, hey, I mean, I, I, who am I to say it's nasty and it's not nasty? I wouldn't let my daughter date a 22-year-old man, but, you know, I'm not, I can't judge. I'm, I'm, I'm not their judge. My job is to only, uh, their parents allow me to uh, educate them and they trust me and, and that's it. I'm not... I'm not going knocking on the door saying, hey, uh, I don't think your daughter should be dating a 22-year-old man. That's not my call. <laughs> so anyway, God bless. Make peace. Make peace. Hey, baby. Okay, it's, yeah, it's time to eat. Okay. It's time to eat. Say hello. I got to go eat, y'all. So anyway, God bless. Make peace. Be still. And I will see you guys next time. I'll see you soon. Peace. God bless. And peace be still. Bye.